Hey there, and welcome. Today, we're tackling a big question, one that a lot of people think they already know the answer to. Can you really build muscle after you turn 70? Well, what science has to say might just surprise you. So we've put together a simple, practical guide to show you how it's done. Okay, let's just get right into it, shall we? Is it too late? You know, is there some kind of biological switch that flips and says, sorry, the factory is closed? A lot of us assume that once you hit that 70-year milestone, gaining any real strength is pretty much off the table. But you know what? The science on this is crystal clear, and frankly, it's fantastic news. The answer is a resounding absolutely not. That whole idea is a complete myth. It is 100% possible to build muscle mass after 70, and today we're going to walk you through the exact strategy to make it happen. Now, just because it's possible doesn't mean it's a walk in the park. Before we get into the how-to, we really need to understand the why. You see, there's a natural process that our bodies go through, and in any challenge, knowing your opponent is always the first step to winning. And that challenge has a name, sarcopenia. It's just the fancy medical term for the slow, age-related loss of muscle, strength, and function. This is the main reason why building and just maintaining muscle is so incredibly important as we get older. You can think of sarcopenia as the villain of our story today. But don't worry, it's a villain we can definitely outsmart. So, where do we even begin this fight? Well, our whole strategy is built on three main pillars. And the first one, which you could argue is the most important, is all about fuel. Let's talk about giving your body the right building blocks it needs to actually create new muscle. And when we talk about building blocks for muscle, one nutrient stands head and shoulders above all the rest. Protein. I mean, it is the absolute foundation for muscle growth at any age, but it becomes even more critical as the years go by. Now pay attention to this number because it's really a game changer. Research shows that adults over 70 actually need more protein, somewhere between 1.2 and 2.0 grams for every kilogram of body weight. That's way more than the 0.8 grams recommended for younger folks. So why the big jump? Well, it's mostly because of something called anabolic resistance, which is just a way of saying that older bodies need a louder, stronger signal from protein to get that muscle building engine started. And you know, the type of protein you eat matters too. Now, plant-based sources like beans and soy are great, don't get me wrong, but research does show that animal proteins, things like meat and dairy, are especially good at kickstarting muscle growth. And that's because they're packed with essential amino acids, particularly one called leucine, which is like a VIP for muscle building. But listen, it's not just about cramming down protein. You need a well-rounded, colorful diet. Think something like a Mediterranean diet. All these micronutrients, selenium, magnesium, calcium, zinc, they're all essential for your muscles and bones. In fact, some studies have directly linked low levels of selenium to weaker grip and knee strength in older adults. It all works together. All right, we've covered the fuel you need to put in your body. Now for our second pillar, what you need to do with your body. And this isn't about trying to become a bodybuilder overnight. Nope. It's about smart, safe, and effective movement that tells your muscles loud and clear, hey, it's time to get stronger. In the absolute number one rule of smart exercise is this, always, always start with a 10-minute warm-up. As we get older, our muscles and tissues are just a bit more prone to injury. A little light jogging, some stretching, that gets your body ready for what's next and makes a huge difference in preventing sprains and tears. So what does this work actually look like? Well, the great news is you've got this fantastic toolkit to choose from. Resistance training is the name of the game, and you can do it in so many ways, with simple resistance bands, using nothing but your own body weight, with machines at the gym, or even with some light to moderate free weights. And this right here shows you just how easy it is to get started. You don't need a fancy gym. A really effective program can start right there in your living room with simple but super powerful exercises like wall push-ups and calf raises. These things are great for both your muscles and the nerves that control them. Okay, so what's a good goal to shoot for? The research seems to point to a sweet spot of two to four resistance training sessions every week, and each of those sessions should last for about 30 to 60 minutes. That gives your muscles a consistent signal to grow, but without overdoing it. Now, if you're just starting out, here is a really important tip. For beginners, exercise machines are often a better choice than free weights like dumbbells. And why is that? It's because the machine guides your movement, which makes it much safer and way easier to learn the correct form. And trust me, good form is everything when it comes to preventing injuries. So we have our fuel plan, we have our movement plan, but there's a third pillar, 
And honestly, it's the secret ingredient that makes the other two actually work. It's so often overlooked, but your muscles don't get stronger during the workout, they get stronger afterward. So let's talk about rest, recovery, and how to keep things moving forward safely. So how do you get stronger without getting hurt? The key is slow, steady, and smart progress. Think of it like a little cycle. You start with a weight you can handle for about 10 repetitions. You keep doing that until you can comfortably do 12 or maybe even 15 reps. That's your green light to cautiously add a little more weight. And then you just start the cycle over, aiming for 10 reps with that new weight. That is the safest, most effective way to build real, lasting strength. And a massive part of recovery is sleep. That's when your body's repair crew really gets to work. This quote says it all. Not getting enough good sleep can actually cause muscle loss because it messes with the important muscle-building hormones your body releases while you're resting. Here's another non-negotiable rule. Never, ever exercise the same muscle group two days in a row. It's just not how it works. Your muscles need time to repair and rebuild themselves stronger than before. The recommendation is to take one or two full rest days before you hit that same muscle group again. Okay, wow, that was a lot of information, I know, but it all fits together into a really simple but really powerful strategy. So let's just recap and put it all together into a clear path forward. It really does come down to these three pillars. It's that simple. First, fuel your body with that high-protein, balanced diet. Second, commit to consistent movement with safe resistance training. And third, you have to respect the process of recovery by prioritizing your rest days and your sleep. So, remember where we started this whole conversation. The idea that you can't build muscle after 70, it's just plain wrong. It's not a myth you have to live with or some miracle you have to hope for. No, it's a strategy, and it's a strategy that you can follow. And that brings us to our final thought, which is really a question for you. Now that you've seen the whole plan laid out, what is one small, totally manageable step you can take, maybe even today, to get started?